Hello, this is Lynn Allen, and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I've noticed I seem to be on a bit of a dimensioning kick lately, <laughs> haven't I? The last couple of tips were on dimensioning. So, and this one is very similar. If you've ever had somebody send you a drawing file where you actually believe that the dimension values that you saw on the drawing were correct, right? <laughs> we assume that, right? We assume when someone sends us a drawing file with dimensions that the values are accurate. But little do we know that sometimes behind the scenes, CAD operators like to cheat, right? When they get the when they're doing their dimension, they realize it's not quite the right, right value. So what do they do? They override it. And there's really no easy way for you to look at a drawing file and know whether that happened or not. And if you don't know that that happened well, it can cause all types of havoc on your drawing, right? So there is a fantastic express tool that's going to make your life so much better. It makes it much easier for you just to check other people's drawings or maybe even your own drawings and check them to make sure that all the dimension values are accurate. Really, really great express tool. So I'm using the ribbon. I'm in AutoCAD 2010 and I'm going to go to express tools and you will see that there is a section in here for dimensioning and I'm going to take a look at this fabulous command called dim reassoce. So if you're not on AutoCAD 2009, no problem, you can go to the Express Tools pull down menu and you can grab it or the toolbar or you know what, you can just type in dim reassoce, whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and select that tool and I'm going to go ahead and put a window around all of my dimensions. You could also of course type in the word all. Now take a look at the screen and you'll see that it is highlight, highlighted three dimensions and those are offenders. This is where somebody cheated and they put the wrong text value in, right? They overrode the text value. So I know that there's three incorrect dimension values on there. I'm in an extra enter and you'll see that, uh, that this particular command, dim reassoce, will actually put it back to its actual value. And you could take a look at this, you could see that that was probably weren't the values I had in mind, that I had in mind that I really wanted on there and that's why the person overrode it and you can go back and have a little chat with the CAD operator who cheated because you were able to catch him, right? But the good news is at least you have the right information on your screen now, then you can make the changes accordingly. So that's a really fast tip, but you have to admit it's a very, very powerful tip. Once again, that's the DIM Reassoce Express Tool and how we all love the Express Tools. So try this on your drawing files. It'll save you lots of time. It'll save you lots of heartache from working with a drawing file that has inaccurate dimensions and it will help you get your jobs done faster than ever. And I'll check back with you in two more weeks.